Hi, thank you for joining us for the heart code activation. So here's a little bit about what the Elders 3 say about the heart code activation. Codes from the central sun shine through the ring, coming through our sun from places such as the central sun, which is moving the earth and us into a whole new frequency. If you are not ready to accept these codes, they won't come through. If you are ready, they will enter the pineal and travel through to the heart. Within the heart are codes which match the codes coming through the ring. When you are in harmony and balance and the time is right, these codes activate. They activate what are strictly your gifts. So it is important to be in the sacred space of the heart in order for this work to take. But it is also important to be in the sacred space of the heart because then our mind does not get so involved. Because today we are going to learn how to utilize this ring, this etheric ring. So as these rings are not only in the physical, they are an energetic ring. So it is this ring that I will ask you to attune to today. So to do this attunement procedure, it is as simple as being in the heart space, seeing and visualizing this ring. And as we put it on our crown, it drops down to around the pineal. And that is what is going to begin this process. Okay, let's begin with the sacred space of the heart. So we see our consciousness as a little ball of light sits right in the middle of the brain, right behind the pineal gland. It is what looks out our physical eyes. Before we began into this world, when we were still in utero, our consciousness resided within the physical heart. So we're going to move our consciousness from here back down to the sacred space of the heart where we first began. So to do this, it's a very simple process. Let's just close our eyes and visualize yourself standing on your favorite spot in nature, that place on this earth that is your most special place. And as you are standing on your favorite spot in nature and you are sending your love to the earth, she sends her love right back up. And we breathe in that unconditional, loving, healing energy right up into the physical heart. Next, connect up with Source, Creator, God, Central Sun, whatever you call the higher power. And we breathe in that unconditional loving, healing energy into the crown and into the heart as well. And next, we breathe in from both Earth and Sky, bringing both those energies together within the heart. And as we continue to breathe in from both earth and sky, we mix both those energies together with you, earth, sky, and you. That is the Trinity breath. That is when you are grounded, you are connected, and you are right here. As we continue to breathe in from earth and sky, mixing those energies together within the heart, we visualize our consciousness as that little ball of light right in the middle of the brain. Take that deep breath from earth and sky. And as we exhale, just drop your consciousness right down to the physical heart, into that sacred space of the heart. And as you drop into the heart, just trust. Trust the process, trust what you see. You want to settle yourself into the sacred seat of the heart. So just settle in, have a seat within your heart space. Okay. Next, we're going to visualize the harmony ring, the balance and harmony ring right here. Now this energetic etheric ring, you're just going to picture yourself intend, Visualize, pretend, 
that you sit this ring right on top of your head as such. Now as you close your eyes and you feel this ring sitting on top of your head, you'll feel it drop down to around your pineal gland, right in the middle of the brain. So as you feel this energetic ring drop down to right around the base of your pineal, it begins to resonate with the pineal. Again, it is connecting up to the central sun and beyond and bringing in those codes. And as we are in our heart space and we are intending to unlock those codes within the heart, those heart codes, the connection occurs between the pineal and the heart and it brings in whatever codes are necessary that are for your highest and greatest good. Now this is a process that you can sit with for as long as you feel. And it is something that you will have to repeat as we're not always ready to unlock all of our codes at once. It will be up to your higher consciousness on what is done for you for your highest and greatest good. So I will leave you to sit with this and please revisit this. Much love.